And to security situation in Kaduna State, where about 11 persons have been killed and many injured in recent attacks by gunmen in Zangon Kataf local government between Monday and Wednesday this week. The local government has been under a 24-hour curfew for over two months. According to the Southern Kaduna People's Union, heavily armed men invaded Ngua Gankon village in the local government Tuesday night, where they killed two persons and burnt seven houses. They say the situation would have been worse, but for people in the neighborhood who rose up to rescue the rescue, only a few days ago, the defense headquarters deployed special forces from the Nigerian Air Force and Army to southern Kaduna in an effort to curb the spate of killings in the volatile region. Now let's get more from our correspondent Tessem Akende, who is standing by now. Uh, Tessem, it's killings in southern Kaduna again and in a local government where um, there is an ongoing 24-hour curfew. What is really the problem there? Uh, you know, within the southern Kaduna um, landscape, um, uh, and I'll limit my thoughts, uh, I'll, I'll limit my talk around Zangun Kataf. Uh, the boiling issue there has been around land, uh, which dates back to about 1992 between the Hausas and the Atiap people in that area. So um, there have been, this has led to so much uh, disagreement. It has led to destruction of farmlands. It has led to destruction of cars and all of that. Uh, the security there is still shaky, and uh, there's so much anger between the people. But uh, talks are on, and we're hoping that uh, uh, the, 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 the freight nerves will be calmed soon. So it's good to know that there are special forces there now, but how well do you think um, they can effectively police and keep the area safe? Well, I must say that uh, this will go a very long way to securing that area. But of course the people must, first of all, take it upon themselves to live in peace. Uh, there'll be more boots on the ground, like the government will always say. But beyond the boots on the ground, the, there has to be a commitment by the people. Um, only over the weekend, we had more deployments of Air Force joining the defense headquarters uh, you know, de uh, deployment. Uh, from the statement you read, or from what Tokapu is saying, the situation would have been worse. It should have been more than 11 people. But for the quick intervention of neighbors and, of course, the special forces comprising of officers and men of the Nigerian Air Force, uh, the, the Navy, and, of course, the Army. So uh, their, 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 their presence within the southern Kaduna landscape at the moment is very, very needful. All right, so let's talk about Sokapu, which is the Southern Kaduna's People Union. And they are alleging a land conquest mission by enemies of peace. Now, how true or false is this? Well, it is, uh, they, have made their, they have made their position, they've stated their position. Uh, just a few weeks ago, the governor invited traditional rulers across the landscape to Kaduna here, where he was challenging any of them to point at any land that has been taken over by the so-called enemies of peace. Uh, they've made bold to, you know, make certain pronouncements at the moment. We are hoping to hear from the government as well, following this position. Uh, we're monitoring the issues closely. Of course, we'll be keeping close tabs at the government as well. But more importantly, there has to be peace in the land. This is what we push for as journalists, and we hope that we'll get to that point soon. Also, um, bring us up to speed on the mood of the people. And um, what is the general mood around that area? Well, this is an area that, uh, of course, the local governments, which were under a 24-hour curfew, were four. Uh, but just two of them are under that situation now, Zangon, Katap, and Kauru. Jamaa and Kaura, the situation has been lifted. It's now between 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. Uh, the security agencies are monitoring the situation, and the government relies solely on these security agencies on the next move, whether or not to allow the curfew in uh, Zangon, Katap, and Kauru to, be, to last on for um, you know, a little longer. But talking about the mood, the people, a lot of people are, have been internally, 
are internally displaced as the, at the moment. Uh, so Kapu is saying about 50,000 of them. I can confirm to you that people are displaced and it's not the best of times for them at all. Um, Tams, Tassem, thanks for bringing us up to date on situations in um, Zangon Kataf and Southern Kaduna. Um, a correspondent, Tassem Makande, live for us in Southern Kaduna.